Damn. Okay, no kids pretty fire. What's up everyone? It's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW back with another video. And today I wanted to take a look at arcade. Now, not just regular arcade, but arcade note kits. It's something that they added to make arcade pretty much not only just a place for you can find samples and loops, but you can straight up use it as a full instrument. So I haven't really looked at it at all. So when I went into arcade and went to install note kits. I didn't have anything installed, so I haven't really used the note kits. I do use Arcade, and the note kits has added so much more value to the subscription, so I really want to take a look. Also, disclaimer, I am doing the intro and the outro after I've made the beats actually the next day. For some reason, that footage is gone, but I do have the footage of me making the beat. So when you watch the beat making segment, you're going to see that I have a mustache. And that's why, because it's I'm doing this at a completely different time. But yeah, uh, before we get started, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos. Let's get it. All right, so here on the session, and everything is from arcade, even the drums, instruments, of course, everything's from arcade. And then we're gonna start from the beginning. We started off with these, this MIDI right here, these chords, Pure Love, it's called. It's called the Pure Love, it's from the 70s note kit. That's what I started with, and then I ended up adding a bunch of other notes. Ended up sounding like this. As you can hear, there's way more going on, way more bounce. It just feels better, so that's why I did that. So then I bounced this out, and then I reversed it and brought it down 12 semitones, and it sounds like this. It just completely switches up the vibe. I do like the original melody, but for some reason, I decided to stick with this one. Then I add these bells right here, and it's from Arcade as well. It's from Feel the Sounds, Elevator Music. That's what this is, and I, but I just bounced it out and it became this. I then added some effects. I put an EQ on it, Decimort, just to, um, Get rid of some of the highs, just to crush it a little bit. I also added a portal, but I bounced it out with the portal at 100%, and I just cut it up to get just to keep the textures I wanted. So together, it sounds like this. Did that just to keep some texture. It just really, it just really adds a lot to that. Oh, and there's also a delay tape on it as well. That's what really gives it that movement. Obviously, those repeats. I then added a kick and snare from why is this one so big? I don't know. Put the bile service preset and drip the hats as well. I think it's from the same one. Yeah, same thing. Bile service 808. Is that from the same one too? It's the club shake 808 from the drip line. So although the drums are all from the drip line. And then let's see how that sounds. So I got this really spooky ambient feel going. Then I decided, you know what? I want to add a vocal as well, but I didn't want to use a vocal loop. I wanted to stick with the note kits, so I believe this is from Hooked. Never mind. It's from Distant Voices, the Eternal Dreams note kit. It sounds like this.
So that's pretty much it. I do have another section over here where I added this at the end of it. Just for some variation. Then I put a shaper box on it just to give it a little bit more variation. It just reverses at the end. Pro Q3, just to you know put a band pass narrow, cut out some lows, cut out some highs. And scale it sounds like this. So all that did was essentially push back the vocals just so it sits in a nice spot. I really liked how it sounded, but that was pretty much it for this beat. I really like how it sounded. This super ambient with a lot of ear candy. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised with Arcade. Let me open up another instance. All right, so here we are in Arcade. I felt the best way to really explain my thoughts on the note kits would be just go straight into it. Let's go into Drip. And now we're in note kits. And essentially what you do is you click this. And it just plays like a one shot of each octave. Now, when I was going through sounds and looking for sounds, I really felt this hold me back a little bit just because just hearing that sound in one note and different octaves doesn't really give you a feel for how it sounds, you know what I mean? So one thing I would say about the arcade note kits is they definitely need better previews. If they'd made previews like Native Instruments does in, in complete control, next level. It would definitely be next level. Now, if you don't know what you want, you can just go to the search, you can go to note kits, and just describe what you want, you know what I mean? You can have your instruments, your genres, the functions. Honestly, it was pretty intuitive. It would, did help me find what I was looking for pretty quickly. Again, that's the only thing holding it back was the previews. The previews, the only thing holding it back, I had to try them out, play a little bit, see if I liked it. Now, if this was a regular synth instrument or a VST where I can just flip through presets, it would be different, but you actually had to download each and every kit. So because of that, they, I definitely think they should get some better previews that would make this next level. So I was worried about it when I was going through previews, but after I made the beat, I was like, damn, Arcade no kits pretty fire. I was pleasantly surprised, but I don't know why, just because, you know, output, they make some amazing, amazing things. Now, if you have arcade and you haven't really used the note kits, def definitely recommend checking it out. It kind of reminds me of going through a bunch of one shot kits, essentially. Um, if you don't have arcade and want to give it a try, link is in the description for a free month. I'm not sponsored by output in any way, shape, or form, even though I would love to be. Hit me up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. As always, find my social media at MrRW on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Everything's linked down below. And if there's any videos you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get to it. I'll try my best. We'll see what we can do. And before we go, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Peace.